Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning into today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. Day 10 will take us to the 18th of November, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. <coughs> Sorry, sorry, everyone will be able to extend out beyond that with the extended uh, GFS and ECM ensembles. We're running around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say, we've released a channel member exclusive uh, today. So that is uh, looking at the ECM 42 day model exclusively for our channel members. And it's running up towards Christmas and some quite interesting uh, signals there. So, um, if you're a channel member, check that out. If you want to become a channel member, all you need to do is pay £4.99 a month to uh, sign up, and uh, you get uh, a twice monthly channel member live stream with myself, with Gav, and also uh, a look at the ECM 42 demo every week exclusively on a Saturday. Other channel member content is on the way. Jeremy Friday might become a channel member exclusive uh, very soon as well. So, as I say, please like. Just subscribe, make sure everyone for dear Matt. Right, we're going to start top with the latest with Matt from Earth, no school net show. Matt, low pressure remains in control at the moment, sitting just to the southwest of, of, uh, of Greenland and Iceland, bring a weather system in from off the Atlantic. So we've got more uh, wet and windy weather to come over the next few days. And of course, the wind remains from south and from southwest, so it's been a very mild start to November and remains so. Central in temperature is currently sitting at 12.5. That's over 6 degrees. Good great be Above 61 to 90, 90 average. That's provisional to the 6th of uh, November. So if I say if we were to stay there, this would absolutely smash the, uh, the um, November CC record. But, of course, it's only for the first six days, and that is likely to come down as we go through uh, the month. We'll see where we end up with that, of course. These were GFS and red temperature precipitation ensembles. They're covered with London today, so the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for London. Staying off above average with those upper air temperatures at the moment. And actually going to become even milder as we go through to next week for a time. But there is signs of a cool down as we go into the second half of November. We see uh, a clear trend there for those upper air temperatures to start lowering and potentially becoming uh, quite uh, cold uh, for a little while anyway. At some point through the third week of November, most likely between around the 17th and the 22nd. Maybe a bit of recovery right at the very end, of course. That's a really long way off. Precipitation wise, so uh, we see regular precipitation spikes there through next week so as it's very mild it will also be quite wet and then maybe a bit of a drying trim as we get that cool down temperature normally is it's five days to the 13th of november are coming out above average for 10 to 14 day temperature normally but it's cooling down to be slightly below average quite a significant change there and that would induce a very entertaining cc collapse if it verified uh, oh, what have you done there, Gav? Oh, blind me. Let's go here, then, instead. So we want to go down there. <coughs> and don't want to go to that. Okay, so, precipitation anomalies for the next seven days. September 2nd of November. Most places drier than uh, normal there. And the 10, 16 day, also drier than average. So, I mean, that looks quite bizarre, doesn't it? There we go. That looks better. Precipitation on set, seven days, 15th of November. That looks more like it. Wetter than average, many central northern and western regions. But the 8 to 14 day, reverse drier than average. So, starting off by the wet and basically becoming drier and colder as we go into the second half of November. Okay, let's start going for chart day today. Let's have the latest UK Met Euro run. It's sort of midnight on Tuesday. A low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic, keeping wind from southwest, so staying mild and wet. Uh, as we go through to the end of next week, it gets to midnight next Saturday. No low pressure right over top of the country, so further heavy rain to come. Still on the mild side of that low, but notice strengthening high pressure in the North Atlantic going towards Greenland, trying to pull down colder air from the north and northeast. Would that turn things colder? from the north and northeast as that low goes in that direction and shifts the wind around to a north or a northeast sea. I reckon that is a distinct possibility. Uh, Icon, again, we want to go here. Looks like that. So low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Bring a lot of very mild and wet weather 
in with it through the course of uh, next week. High pressure is building, though, up towards Iceland and Greenland. So, eventually, we end up looking like that with ICOL. Quite interesting. High pressure blocking again up towards Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure shifting down to the south. Uh, winds turning into the east. So, south probably still just about holding on to the milder air. But for most places, that's certainly turning a lot cooler, if not colder, with that block strengthening again towards Greenland and also towards Iceland too. Right, let's have a look at the KMA. So again, low press coming in from off the Atlantic through next week, bringing a lot of wet weather in with it. Cold rest started to dig down from the door for to get towards the latter stages of next week. And then this low becomes quite a significant feature just to ourselves. So that will turn things not only very wet, but potentially very stormy into uh, next weekend there. Eventually, the overload moves out of the way. High pressure builds around the North Atlantic, around Green Iceland, getting wind into the door and to the North East. So it's becoming colder there as we move through the third week of November. Harsh overnight frost and probably snow showers into the North and to the North. Northeast, a bit of a blast of winter there. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Right, let's have a look at the GFS Midnight Run. So that one again with low pressure just to the south and to the southwest as we're going uh, through next week. Bring a lot of heavy rain with it. High pressure building again towards Greenland and Iceland. <coughs> <coughs> So sorry, if one high pressure building towards Greenland and Iceland, getting the wind into the north and to the northeast, into the north, that low pressure then shifting eastwards, allowing that colder air to push south, then low pressure trying to get up from the south. That looks very interesting, I have to say, around 17th, 18th of November. That could, could, might bring some heavy rain and also some snow flow, uh with it. Um, then we're back into those milder southwesterly winds though as we're moving into the final week of um, November there. Very interesting from the GFS Midnight Run. What about the 6th set in comparison? Well, again, we've got that low pressure just to the uh, west and to the southwest of us through next week. We'll be bringing heavy bouts of rain, high pressure and mild temperatures, but high pressure strengthening towards green ice and cold air starting to dig into the north there by uh, next weekend. Still very mild and wet though down in the south. And then that low pressure clears out of the way. It shifts the wind around into a colder north or northeast. So, oh, check that out. That's a very, very interesting um, G, uh, GFS 6 run as well with winds in from the east and from the northeast. So low pressure south, high pressure to the north. That looks pretty cold and wintry, I have to say, as we're going through the third week of November. You would expect snow prospects to be increasing with that. I think we better get the weather outlook up hold on everyone okay so let's have a look at the precipitation based on those uh two gfs runs starting with a midnight run uh so again we're starting off of course very mild next week with heavy rain <coughs> and pushing in from the atlantic bringing lots of wet weather uh, with it. Cold air begins to start digging to the north at the end of next week, start to turn some of that rain to snow across Scotland. And then uh, further bouts of wet weather to come as we go through next weekend. Then we get that major low coming up from the south around the 18th of November, bringing lots of heavy and cold rain. Bit of snow there for the Welsh mountains. Do we get any more snow? So most of that is cold rain rather than snow. But it would be quite marginal and like, well, I wouldn't rule out if that came off a chance of some wintry uh, conditions with that low. Very back into those milder southwesterlies. Now, let's have a look at the 6Z and see if there's any snow possibilities uh, with that one. Again, we'll go back 72 hours. So, uh, starting off on Tuesday, again, mild and wet, heavy bouts of rain in from the Atlantic. Lots of wet weather to come at times through next week. Again, that's the end of next week, so cold air begins digging. It's got some snow there. Meanwhile, heavy rain uh, further south, a little bit of back turn to snow across parts of northern England, northern Ireland, up into Scotland, into uh, next weekend. 
and then all of that wet weather gets out of the way, and then we open the door to those east north easterlies. They're mainly dry, so not much precipitation uh, coming through uh, with that. Uh, but if you wintry flow is just there, there's a chance of some snow. That's where we're going to have just there. Chance of a little bit of snow uh, down in the south. Yeah, it's a long way off, so just for fun that. Uh, but, you know, the idea is there, certainly, but it could turn quite a lot colder into the second half of uh, November, and maybe wintry possibilities would increase. Well, if you're enjoying the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about the as well. If you have to subscribe to you, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. 80 subscribers will get us to 20.7k. Uh, so cook yourself, that'd be awesome and amazing. Thank you so much. Right, GM, again, with blow pressure to the south and uh, to the southwest. Uh, next week, bring a lot of wet weather but also my weather in with it. Heights building towards Greenland and Iceland by next weekend. Colder air starting to dig in from the north there as we go through into uh, next weekend. And then a proper old battle is setting up into the beginning of the following week, around days 8, 9 and 10, with uh, that low just there marking the boundary between some really cold air that's sitting just to the north, trying to push southwards, and those mild southwesterlies trying to keep going. So all sorts of fun and games will be possible with that. And then uh, the ECM rounds it all off once more with low pressure just to the west and to the southwest through the early part of next week, bringing heavy rain uh, with it, along with those mild southwest winds. High pressure building towards Greenland and Iceland, so cold air starting to thrust its way southwards as we go through into uh, next weekend. The high pressure increasingly taking over around days 8, 9 and 10, dominating the weather, bringing a lot of dry but also quite cold weather. Uh, high pressure going towards Scandinavia there by the 20th of November, winds properly in uh, from the east with that. So uh, becoming colder as we go through the second half of November, potentially with some uh, wintry prospects increase. That's how we aimed up with the uh, ECM uh, run there. So again, round day 10 the block has taken over starts to go to scandinavia wind shifting to the east and uh you know significantly colder second half to november compared to the first half this is the precipitation forecast based on that east shem run from twitter.com up to day 10 so further bouts of wet weather to come at times heavy rain but also mild temperatures likely Particularly folks on the south, actually, not as much for uh, the north. That's how we end up wet weather down in the south. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. Four day ten from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the oh, I've got wrong. Gets us to the 18th of uh, uh, November. There, 15 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure right over the top of the country, reaching up towards Greenland. Mostly dry, but probably quite chilly. 11 with high pressure just the west of the country, again going up towards Greenland. Winds will be going around into more of a northeasterly direction. 10 with high pressure again in the Atlantic. That could bring the wind around to a colder north or northeasterly. We've got another 10 with high pressure again in the North Atlantic. Could bring the wind around to more of an east or northeasterly. And then uh, we've got 5 with low pressure over and to the east. Catch high pressure blocking. Uh, towards Greenland and Iceland. Uh, that's probably the, uh, the, the most wintry uh, possibility uh, with that trough bringing the risk of some heavy rain, but also perhaps the more wintry conditions. Most of those options seem to involve high pressure, so probably going to be main dry, but becoming colder there by day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. That's 23rd of November. 17 members of the East Sem on Southern Zen have high pressure over top of the country, mostly dry, but cold. 17 with a mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland, a trough through the north and west of Europe. That will bring the wind around to colder north or north east. Direction 12 with high pressure towards Greenland and in the North Atlantic as well. Low pressure down towards France. Winds will come in from a cold uh, east north east direction with that. And then five with low pressure and a milder westerly flow despite some blocking up towards Greenland. Looks like we're in for some colder weather, I have to say, from about day 10 to about day 14. How long that last remains to be seen, but I think we are going to see quite a significant blocking area of high pressure getting going by the end of next week. We'll keep you updated. CFS meets you finally. It's the 
500 middle bar height to double is broken down into wheat pairs. The first wheat pair takes us from the 8th to the 14th of November. The next week below pressure just out to the west and a mild southwesterly uh, wind then. Week 2 is going to be the 15th to the 21st of November. High pressure sits just to our east, low pressure out to the west. That brings the wind up from a mild southerly, southeasterly direction. So they're still not really seeing that block, is it? Week 3 will be the 22nd to the 8th of November. High pressure is towards Scandinavia, but it's lining up so that we still keep the wind in from mild southerly, southeasterly, and week four, well, that's a little bit more interesting from a cold perspective. That's 29th of November, 5th of December. It does eventually get there. High pressure around Greenland and Iceland. Although, <laughs> still with that slight flimsy ridge, keeping the wind in from a southeasterly south direction. Um, so, I, I think in reality, the high pressure over here will bring the wildest air uh, through the east and south east of Europe and you get a trough through there and we will probably get winged in from the north of the north east uh, by week four but it takes a very long time to get there I don't know I think uh, we'll get that block of high pressure in place quite uh, um, uh, you know quite significantly before that but we'll see right we're done if you've enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe thanks to share for doing that drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content and don't forget to tell your friends about God for get subscribed to thanks to share for doing that getting quite interesting isn't it so uh, we'll see where we're going next right well I've got a busy afternoon and evening working what have we got then I'm home and I've got winter updates sorted out so I'll finally get to bed probably about 2 3 a.m. Sunday morning <laughs> but it's all good you know it's all part of the fun of it, it? yeah enjoy the rest of your Saturday have a nice one that's all for now and thanks for watching